What's up, everybody out there in the Frontline Universe? I'm Chris. He's Mike. Yeah. And this is the Indie Box for August 2016. And as you guys know, with Indie Box, it's not this box that holds all of the awesome goodies that Indie Box uh, has in store for us. It is the box within the box. And the box and game for this month's Indie Box is... The Stanley Parable Collector's Edition. So we're going to take this, put it aside. Obviously, you get also a listing of all the stuff that's going to be in this box, which we're going to push aside also. And then within this box, you also have a code. Let's pretend you didn't want to open the Stanley Parable box. Uh, you could leave it in crisp, clean shape. Take the code within this box. Redeem your copy or your digital edition of the Stanley Parable, and you never have to worry about opening the box but we're going to open the box then we're going to take all the stuff and to put it over here hmm really okay and then we're going to show you guys what the back of the box looks like is stanley parable for those of you that don't know a lot of um popular youtubers actually did uh let's plays of the stanley parable it's a really fun game and we definitely wanted uh, the Stanley Parable when we heard that it was um, coming out from IndieBox. We were really excited. And we're going to go now in order. And as always, the Collector's Edition box is the first item on that list. Then we're going to go out of order because the next one is the game disc. But before we show you guys the game disc, we got to show you guys the actual game cover. Yes, it looks like a PS4 game. And what I really like is at the top it actually says IndieBox. Which is really cool and then of course you get the back which gives you a little bit of background on the game itself but then you open it up you got two discs might as well talk about both you got the regular game disc and then you've actually got a music disc hmm. official soundtrack game for and Stanley music. Parable. wow so now number three is the original soundtrack and the date okay next we've got okay I'm gonna take all the stuff on this side out because there's several things here, actually. Okay. And then I like, you can't see it, so I'm going to have to slide it up for you guys to see, but you actually have the doors, the right and left doors from the game. You can't see it because this jewel case is too dark to see it, but, um, yeah, let's put this back now. But if you, um, what do you call it? If the jewel case wasn't as dark as it was, you'd actually be able to see the doors. I noticed it while I was opening it, but for you guys, the camera definitely wouldn't have caught it. So I'm going to take this put it aside for now. So here's your game and music CD, and apparently the case counts as well. Now you've got the all-important instruction manual, letting you know about the game, giving you some fun things, some fun tips. That's a... Well... There's some fun stuff. And for those of you that don't know, the Stanley Parable is a really funny game. So, after the instruction manual, we have... Get this out. The... After reaching... Wow, this is cool. We have the Stanley Parable. This is so big, I can't even get it on in frame, so we're going to back this up a little bit. We have the Stanley Parable tie. Hmm. Yes, we have a tie. It is a tie. Interesting. Very interesting. So, there's the tie. I'd like to try to get it to... Actually, I'm going to do that. Yes. So you guys can see Stanley Parable. Yes. Huh. Huh. That works out so good. Look, yeah, but don't move it because I'm like... Nope. Oh, it's, it's good. good. All right. After that, we have... Oops. What? Ah. After that we have business cards you get several business cards they all are the same how many do you get you get about five of them i think because i have four here's four and then up i knock down the tie 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 no it doesn't look nice anymore <laughs> tie work with me here screw tie <laughs> Screw it! We'll <laughs> just, do it! We're gonna go live! Go, so here's what the card actually says on it. You can make your own little... You can put your name, your contact, and set your skills. 
And on the other side it says hard worker. I'm good at my job. Interesting. Little props that you could. Uh, props. <clears throat> so, uh, blah, 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 blah. okay. This is interesting. And I have to take it out of the bag. Uh, you could have cheated with with uh, indie box. Now, one thing I don't like, and I wish they wouldn't do, is you could actually cheat and find out what's in your indie box. Of course, this is after the date uh, passes for you to renew your subscription, so it's not like you go, "Oh, I see what's in the box. I'm going to cancel now." But you can technically cheat. There are posts they send out, <clears throat> and uh, I accidentally clicked it, and I saw a lot of the stuff that was in this. But you have a mouse pad. The end is never the end. It's a big circular mouse pad so we're going to push the game up push this up push the cards up and then we're going to have the mouse pad we're going to have to bend this down a little bit so i'm sorry for people who like seeing the indie box we're going to push down in order to get everything in frame not to have to move over all right and then finally uh we do not have two stickers anymore really instead of getting an indie box sticker and a game sticker like we've been getting we're getting a new thing that they're claiming here, which is a indie box sticker, which is indie box plus Stanley Parable equals synergy. So this is instead of getting two stickers, you only get one this time, All and right. it is basically a combination of indie box and stuff from the Stanley Parable, I guess. So, all right, rating time and also a little bit of a changing i guess time okay so as you guys know they moved all of their instead of doing unique usbs um the indie box now does it at, does the games as cds and i like that they put them in cases now it's like basically getting a playstation game or an xbox game they're in nice cases the cd and instruction manual and music cd all can go in one case all nice and comfy cozy I miss there being two two um, stickers though. I did like having one that was for the game, which I was actually looking forward to having a Stanley Parable uh, sticker and one that was the indie box where you could where they made it fancy for the game. So I'm kind of sad that they took one of the stickers away. What can you do? Um, as far as the stuff now with the rating system, as I said. The case, the CD, and the instruction manual, which goes in the case. Really cool. I like that they actually made it like a video game. The tie. Um, maybe Mike will wear it. I'm not a tie person. Really, there's no replica you can make from the Stanley Parable, except for possibly a tie. So it makes sense. That's all I can truly say there. The business cards are interesting, again. With the Stanley Parable, it's hard to come up with ideas for collector's items. And the mouse pad's pretty cool. I do like the mouse pad. Um, all in all, though, I have to say that it's an improvement from last month. <clears throat> but uh, I would still say Indie Box has to re-come into itself a bit. Uh, because I think that with all the changes, it kind of changed the way the Indie Box has been and now indie box has to come into itself again and uh, really move forward with their new format with the CDs and the collectibles uh, especially for for them asking an extra five dollars it would be cool for them to um, incorporate all of that also now what I do like is they let you know see because here's what came in the box in the back they let you know what's coming next month so you don't have to wait, and if you don't want the game, you can pause your order or cancel it. But the next game is going to be Rive, which looks pretty interesting, if I do say so myself. I will have to wait and see what we're going to do. As you guys know, Cindy's the video game, uh, the computer gamer of the family, so this subscription box is totally based on her thoughts on the box after we do the unboxing, whether she wants to keep it or not. She was very excited that it was the Stanley Parable, I will say that. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens next and uh, if she's interested in uh, Rive. But anyway, what did you think of the box? You're here Well, you're this saying time. the rating. I said four. Oh, you did? Oh, I didn't I hear four. that. All right. Um, the tie is a little bit interesting. I mean, I like ties, so might as well say that's interesting. Uh, I like the mouse pad with the uh, words that are around. It's very creative. Well, that's because it's true. The end is never the end. Right. 
the game cover with the instruction manual is always a uh, great uh, put in for the any computer game box. The business cards, uh, I don't really feel that was necessary, You're but not okay. The business cards, okay. <laughs> and I am gonna miss the four, the four, the two stickers that was for indie box. I mixed my words around a little bit, but I like it, so I'm not gonna take a star away. I only just take half, just because of the business cards. So four and a half out of five. Okay, so we're still on a pretty high rating for indie box. We'll see what happens next month, and uh, hopefully, as I said, IndieBox will come into itself as they're coming into their new format and their new layout for their games. But IndieBox is a very good subscription box if you'd like to check out some independent uh, computer games. One thing I would love for them to add, since they're changing uh, and adding so many things, as you guys know, PlayStation and uh, Xbox One are doing a lot of um, indie games as well. I would love for them to do like what they did with that Nuclear Throne, where oh, they yeah, actually yeah, gave yeah, a code yeah, yeah. for people to use it on the PlayStation or Xbox. Um, I think that would be really cool, especially if you're a console. I think they'll bring in a lot of new um, people if um, they added codes, because then people who have PlayStation and Xbox and you don't really want a game on the computer might also buy it, because who knows? You know what the game will? Be. Well, they'll know what the game is, but they'll be able to play it on their systems as well then again some games were you know computer exclusive anyway that's it for this month's indie box link in the description below if you'd like to um check out the indie box and get your own indie box uh as always guys comic frontline we are your number one source for comic related news reviews and a whole bunch more stay tuned for more videos if you're not subscribed hopefully you will subscribe this way we're in your sub box and you won't miss out on a single video we have videos coming out each and every day on comic frontline and don't forget to also check out comicfrontline.com for even more frontline goodness till next time everybody take care keep reading keep collecting and we'll see you guys in the next video hey everybody